Malema is celebrating his 31st birthday today and a baby boy who was kidnapped at Dorangiza Hospital found. I'm Lebo Changela with this news update. Embattled ANC Youth League President Julius Malema will celebrate his 31st birthday today, addressing the Limbopo Women's League's General Council. This is his first official public engagement after the ANC Disciplinary Commission's decision to expel him from the party. However, he has 14 days to appeal the decision. Senior Specialist Reporter Matlatsi Gallens reports. Expulsion from the party he has called his political home for more than two decades is probably by far Malema's worst birthday gift ever. But the celebrations are going on. First with the Limpopo Women's League, where you will speak about economic freedom and the need to build the ANC as a mass movement. Then another party surrounded by more allies, friends and family. Malema this week got backing from a special provincial youth league structure. The league's national executive committee is meeting on Sunday to discuss its next step. He has also privately received messages of support from several youth movements on the continent, including Tanzania's ruling party youth league, Matlatu Gallant, SNC News, Bulukwan. A baby boy believed to have allegedly been stolen at the Dora Giza Hospital in Port Elizabeth earlier this week has been dumped at a house in New Brighton in the city. The baby was allegedly stolen on Wednesday from the maternity ward by a woman who posed as a nurse, although she did not have any identification proving it. Two women who allegedly drove a silver German car stopped at a house in New Brighton yesterday and asked to use the toilet. Later, the owner saw a baby boy in the toilet. The owner took the baby to the police station from where the baby was later taken to the hospital. Health department spokesperson Cesar Cupello says they can't yet confirm that it is the baby who was stolen. The baby is now being looked after at Dorangenza Hospital. At this stage, we cannot conclude that this is the same baby who was abducted or stolen from the hospital earlier in the week. DNA tests are to be done to determine the identity of the baby. But the physical appearance, the weight and the height of the baby matches the same weight that was taken from the stolen baby earlier in the week. The South African gold coin exchange says a gold demand from India and increasingly China is pushing up the price of the precious metal. SAGCE chairperson Alan Demby says India is the world's biggest gold importer and the country's currency, the rupee, is said to appreciate in 2012. Demby says a World Gold Council report predicts that China will become the world's largest gold market this year. He says the demand points to the likelihood of a bull run on gold. Gold has risen by 15% since December. And the South African Agalas will dock in Cape Town today at the end of its final polar expedition. The Environmental Affairs Department says the polar research and supply ship will be replaced by a modern polar vessel in May. The ship left on its final voyage to Antarctica in December last year. Vanessa Puna has more. The SA Agalas has made a total of 39 trips to Antarctica since 1978. Built a year before, it has since been used to service the three South African National Antarctic Programme research bases at Gough and Marion Islands in the Southern Ocean and Sanai 5 in Antarctica. The vessel has also participated in a multinational rescue of an icebreaker, Magdalena Oldendorf, during 2002. Her replacement, the SA Agalas II, is expected to come into service within the next two months. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Cape Town.